Hello there and welcome to my channel. I am Nico and in this video I will try shortly tell you, my viewer, about my small creations. My paper minis are created for printing home with common tools and not huge amount of time. You can create an army of any size. I have mostly D&D and other classic Tolkien type fantasy sets, but from time to time I am create something for Green Dark Future War games or even historic. But who exactly my target audience, if any? Well, my first creations was made it out of necessity for preparation to 40 game war game. I was having only two days before the game and I don't want to come with some shady proxy models, about which I will forget during the play, because they don't look like the models. Fast forward couple years and I found myself with an inch, with determination and huge dose of inspiration and common knowledge. I began make minis for my custom war game system, Apocraftica. More than 500 models was created after three years, but most of them was one-sided mirrored images. So uncool. In autumn of 2019, the first game of D&D 5th edition was played with me as a DM, and it changed everything. Huge bursts of inspiration and support from my local new friends derailed my approach. Now I have more than a thousand unique and most of all double-sided models to play, only after a year as a DM. My English-speaking friend recommended me a Patreon as a reasonable tool for promotion and store all of my silly models. After a year I have a steady YouTube Ukrainian channel and some small amount of local fame. Very, very local fame. <laughs> At the moment of recording of this vid I am almost finished PC character classes for D&D and uh, from time to time I am add random NPCs and monsters and creating miniatures for war games such as fun-made grimdark future how I see the place for my paper creations. Most of all, this is a tool for easy and fast play. I know, cutting the contour twice uh, for all the sides can be notorious at first, but it is faster than assembly, priming and painting. All what you need is a scissors and glue. Not bad at all. Of course, 2D papercraft miniatures never replace good 3D minis, but as I see now, this is a great opened window for those who didn't want to invest to unknown hobby on difficult or didn't like to paint, as I just want to play as fast as it possible. Who knows, maybe, just maybe, some new players will in future become full hardened hobbyists just because they begin their journey more easily. For me it's all about huge amount of possibilities. In my Dungeon Master box I stored more than 200 minis and I still want more for all any possible encounters. Same for war games. I have an old army of Apocraftica, Slanesh army for 40k and two 15mm armies for Space Knights and Space Elves for Grimdark Future. With 15mm minis it's all more easily than you think about it. Yes, they tiny, but when practice show, I cut them out faster than same models in 28 scale. <laughs> what a wonder! So, if you have any ideas to dive in my collection, please visit my Patreon page. Here I have not only supporter material, but free one as well. And subscribe, and you will see more new episodes of my rumbling around with my heavy accents, cut or paint some minis, and maybe telling some 
useful information. And for this time, I will see you all in the next video really soon.